Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel and to this video I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful bag See I put some I put lining and I'm gonna show you how I put the lining also and I made this beautiful handbag or shoulder bag with a black color it is macrame yarn and I put some uh, chain for the handle and the strap too I made the strap I will show you in other video how I made the strap and this tutorial I will make or I will use another color as a sample of my project so I'm gonna use this color Place here you can use a 4.5 to 5 size of hook but I'm gonna use size 4 I hope you can see this is size 4 and I use uh, three skins of this uh, of this project but this one this is not the color that I'm gonna use I'm just going to use this as a sample okay because my main color is black so it's difficult for you to see the stitches and I'm gonna use this kind of uh, clasp my bag you can see this is so adorable I like the flower thing here but if you don't have like this it's no problem you can use any kind of a uh, lock you want you can uh, use a uh, magnetic lock like this you can use this kind of lock But if you are following mine, I'm going to use this, okay? But if you want only the stitch of the bag, then you can use any kind of lock you want, okay? Now the size of the bag, it's totally up to you which size do you want. I have here an example. This one I have made it. And uh, the size of this bag is uh, like, okay, this is the cover because this one is... 20 the cover is a bit smaller because I made this one I made this one a bit wider here the body so the cover is a bit smaller the body is like a 18 okay so if you want to use this size you can always adjust okay And I have here another example. I use this kind of uh, lock. And see, just like that. Here, I didn't put any lining yet, but I'm using the same stitch as my other project that I'm going to use today. And this one, the other bag, I used a. Uh, only magnetic lock. See it? This one. So let's get started. By the way, this is a uh, macram yarn. Let's make a slip knot. Just put your hook here on the right side of the yarn and then just do like this and then put it down and then up. And then hold your yarn in the middle. You have a little loop here. Then grab the yarn from up up. And just put through the middle or the loop. Okay, then make it tight. And now since I'm going to use this kind of uh, clasp, I'm going to measure or I'm going to chain from here to here. Go okay, and that is a... Uh, I'm gonna just like uh, 20 20 okay I'll make just one two three four five six So 
So if you want uh, to make this kind of stitch, your chain should be, you should have an even or not odd number and then plus one. Okay, so for example, I will ha I have here two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So I have here 36 and that's enough. Because I added one, so it should be 35 only and then add one to make it 36. Okay, so if you want your bag a bit wider till here, then you can make it uh, 39 like that or 41. Don't forget to plus one chain, okay? And then we're going to put our chain on the other side, going to the back. You can see the little bumpy here. Bumpy, bumpy area. This one. We're going to insert our yarn, our hook there. It's the second chain. Okay. This is the chain from the hook. This is one, two. Then here to the back side. Just grab that bumpy area there, bumpy loop. Then make a single crochet. Okay. Here, this one. See it. And you will have 35 single crochet. Okay, so single crochet till the end, back loop, or not back loop, at the back side here in the bumpy area. Okay, and I will meet you here till the end. I'm on my last uh, stitch. Should be like this. I'm gonna measure it if I have a 20 uh, centimeter. Yes, I have 20. Okay, because this is the opening of the bag. So now let's continue. So for the second row, you have to chain one and then turn your work. And let's make a, another single crochet. Just make 35 single crochet. I have now three more stitches. You can see here this one, the last. Don't forget to get this one, this last stitch here. Good. And now we are going to make another row of a single crochet. So let's chain one and then turn your work and then single crochet in the very first stitch till the end of the row okay so um, we are we have now uh, our th third row of single crochet so we have three rows of single crochet okay I'll meet you here to the end okay I have two stitches left. Last one here. Like that and then we're going to start our chain uh, row four. So chain one. Turn your work. We have some yarn. And then single crochet in the very first stitch here. 
the next stitch we're going to put our yarn here in the second row here there's a hole here this is one two three in the third hole you can see this is a one two and three in the third hole you can put our hook there insert our hook and then grab it from the back side grab your yarn and then pull it back and then like that and then so okay then another one single crochet in the next stitch actually this is kind of single crochet but the other ones can long here so skip we have our single crochet here, right? So we're going to the other stitch here and to the third hole again here, down here. So, and then a small one, the normal single crochet, and the third, just like that. You just keep doing this until the end of the row. And you should end like single crochet here should end the same as here okay or single crochet at the last row that's why we need our chain to be an add number okay so here I'm oh, sorry normal single crochet the big single crochet <laughs> it's kind of long we have to grab the long yarn the normal and then now well, just alternate okay so so I hope you got it already and I will leave you now I will meet you at the end of this row okay so I have uh, more three stitches I have made here the long one it's a long single crochet and then make the normal one and then the long one and then normal one at the end so if you start with single crochet you should end with single crochet here the normal one okay so this is how it looks like I don't know if you can see it because I'm using flash so it's kind of shiny I think let me try to off the flash I think you can see it better huh? if no flash so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 I have 17 of the long single crochet here now to the next row we have to chain one then turn and then make a single crochet normal single crochet here two one and two so now you can see here the like a v-shape I hope you can see it well I'm just not I will not use light so you can see it well so you can see there's like a v-shape you remember our long single crochet that makes like this okay so we are made Two single crochet what we are going to do is to get the long strap here and then the other one the next strap here and then just do like this so and the next is it's normal single crochet and then let's make V again Actually, this is the bisque separate uh, opposite of V, what they call it. <laughs> so here, get this one, and then another one, the next V. Then scrub yarn, and then pull it through. And then normal single crochet. Then take this one yarn here, and then the next one. And then, 
Now it creates like a V and the other way around. Same thing. Now just do like that until the end of the row. Okay. Just uh, grab yarn here and then make single crochet in the middle. And then again, get the two yarn, then single crochet in the next stitch. That. And then single crochet in the next stitch. So it makes like this. Okay. Uh, almost at the end of the row. So you started with a two single crochet, so you should end up with two single crochet. So this is the last uh, kind of this two here. So we're going to make it like that, and then let's make two single crochet here in this area here in the middle of the V. This is our one, and then two single crochet. So when you what you did here in the first row here in the beginning, you should end up the same in the end, okay? So let's do our next round. So chain one and then turn. Now our back sides is like this. So what we're going to do now is let's make the same uh, set as what we did here, the long the single normal single crochet and the long one long single crochet okay so the first one we don't make single crochet we just direct make the long single crochet not the normal one but the long one here in the th same in the third hole so this is one two and three here so let's put insert your hook there in the third hole then grab the yarn for the back and pull it through okay that's our long single crochet and now we'll make the normal single crochet so the next stitch will be normal single crochet and the next stitch will be long single crochet the same in the third one one is a two here and then the third one okay so one two and insert our hook there and you can feel it from the back it should be in the middle of the V here the hook should be in the middle of it okay and then grab your yarn and then pull it through and make a single crochet the long one and then now the normal single crochet like that and the long one again you can feel it from the back, your uh, fi middle finger, or the, this one, the ring finger. You can feel it from the back if you are at the middle. Because you can feel this stripe here, and this one. You can feel it that your hook will be in the middle. Because you just put your hand like this, your finger. See it? And when you put your hook here, when you insert your hook, you can feel it to the yeah see this is the first one and you are now in the middle okay so you didn't have to look at every time just feel it from the back okay that and then normal and then the long one again here see if you are going to the third hole it's automatic yet you'll be in the middle of the v shape here but just look at those sometimes because sometimes it goes to the other side because like this it will go here for example you will put your hook here then sometimes it will go to this side here here see that one here this is our V one to the V shape this is not good it should be in the middle of the V shape like that okay Yeah. 
the normal and the long one okay. I hope you can see it well now I will continue mine till the end So I have now three stitches left, so one, two, and three. So I'll make the long uh, single crochet now, and then normal single crochet. And we started the long single crochet here at the beginning of the row, so we will end up at the same. We will make long single crochet, okay. This can, can be uh, tricky, just make count the hole one, two, and then go to the third hole, like that. So it will be like this, don't worry about that, you can see a little gap here, but don't worry. Just make our long single crochet like this, okay? Then chain one, then turn. Now you can see there is a, like a hole here, so loose. We're going to chain in that uh, stitch here. So not not here in the big one. You can see, okay? You can see there's a space like this, right? So don't put your hook here. Grab one, two loops here from the previous row. Grab some yarn here. So you will not create a big hole here, okay? So, you can see this one here? So we're going to insert our yarn, our hook here, in this area. Okay? So, here, like that. Yeah? And then we're going to make the V shape again. So we have we have uh, made we've made a single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to get the uh, one strap here and the other strap of the other V shape, okay? Like this, and then single crochet to the next stitch, and again make. Guess this one again, and then single crochet. Then do this and then single crochet. So that's it's all now it's going to repeat the row from here and there until you will have your size of the bag, your long, the length I mean. I will uh, just make another rose. I'll meet you at the end, okay? Almost at the end. So I have one, two, three, four stitches. That is the last one of the like the V shape and then we started with one single crochet here in the beginning so we should end up the same one single crochet okay the end now let's chain one and then make one single crochet And then put your hook again here in the third hole on the third one two so here and this is hole here to one two three here right, and be sure you it is in the middle okay then chain normal single crochet and uh, middle 
like that so this is just a repetition of what we did in the fourth row so just repeat fourth and fifth row again and again okay just remember that what if you started with the chain single crochet then you should end up with a single crochet if you started with a long single crochet then you should end up with a long single crochet okay I started with one uh, normal single crochet so let's end up with one normal single crochet and then turn chain one and turn and then two single crochet if this like this you can see here the V shape is in the second stitch so make first single crochet in the very first stitch and then second make another single crochet then again make this like v shape again grab the strap here and add to the other strap on the other stitch and then make that then chain i mean a single crochet in the middle and then grab the two yarn then single crochet Okay, just like that and then continue until you will have your size and I will show you my main project the black one because I'm I used black uh, yarn for the my part for my project I just make this a sample so you can see it because if I use the black one you cannot see it well okay so this is my main project you can see the stitch it's really nice and this one measures four to four and the width is 20 you can see it's 20 so continue doing of what you are doing now and then you can make this uh, size if you want like mine and if you make the size let's make the single crochet here because we started I started here with the two single crochet so I end up here with single crochet here to the side because I'm using different luck and I'm going to teach you how to make the edge clean using a slip stitch okay but before we're going to make the slip stitch to clean the area to the side the side area here I'm just going to add uh, one more one round of a single crochet here so it will be equal from the side here and your side here should be the same okay so i will make the slips at chain one and then turn and just make a single crochet the very first stitch to the end this normal single crochet in each stitch okay and two stitches left two so this is now the end of the single crochet so you can see the same edge this should be the stitch so beautiful isn't it now we're going to do the slip stitch 
So let's turn our uh, work without any train. Just turn like this. And then let's make the slip stitch. Okay. So put your hook into the loop here, the first stitch, and then grab the yarn, pull it through, and then just do like this. It's kind of tricky because it's tight. See, like that. Again, insert your hook, grab a yarn, then pull it through the loop. And then direct to the other loop, like okay. And slip stitch until the end of the row. Be like this. I have one stitch left. Stitch left. Now we're going to slip stitch this side here. Don't make chains, just go direct. See this bump here? You can see this bump, this bump, this bump. See this one? That's we are going to slip stitch. Okay, so don't make any chain, just direct to the bump area. It's kind of tricky because this it is tight. So what I always do, I always make a, I always count one, two bumps like that. It's a second bump, and then in the middle there is like a st stitch here. Now go inside there and grab that two. Yarn, so, and this is my third stitch. Like that, and again one, one bump. I'm counting. I'm calling this as a bump. You know the this one, this one, and that one. So one bump, two bumps, two. And then third one is in the middle here. Like that. And then three. And just repeat it. One bump. And then two bumps. And then the third one. I'm sure if yours has yours has long or many bumps because yours is longer, of course. Like that. Just do like that one, two, three, one, two, three. Because if you're going to all the bumps, it should be it will be tight. But if you go to the every stitch, it will be loose. So that's why I make one, two, three. Three, one, two, three, all the bumps, okay? And now you, if you're in a corner, don't make any, uh, don't make any chain, just direct to the first stitch here, the corner, like that. Just put your tail here down the back. 
this slip stitch okay like that and just continue doing the slip stitch Just take your time because it's, it's a bit tight, so it's okay. No harsh, no need to hurry. That okay, just make sure we have the same count of stitches. This side should be the same as this side here, it should be accurate, okay. So I will continue here to make a slip stitch here until the corner here, okay? I have two stitches left. Sorry. Then two. And then go in this area here. You can see here. This one. Okay. Just everything. One and then two. It's a little bump here, it's kind of difficult. This is our three. So what you can do now is every, every, this one there's three rows in that one. So you can make three, sing, three, the slip stitch here is one, two, and then the three, the bump ear. I'll show you, okay. So just make this like this is one and then find a yarn at the back here make a maybe the two and then to the bumpy side this next to it there is a bumpy uh, yarn there go to that one make it three And then this side is a bit tricky just do the first so one as long as you will have three slip stitch in this round I mean in in each uh, V shape here because remember we made the Third, the third hole, one, two, three holes, right? Makes it one uh, long single crochet. So there's third, three rows. And be sure that your sides has a th has the same uh, count here side and this side, okay? And if you're done, just uh, cut the yarn, make a little bit of, they like this long, and pull through the yarn, and grab your uh, tapestry needle, or needle that is, uh, has a long uh, eye, or big eye. And then we're going to 
we're going to connect or put the insert the yarn here in our first stitch of our slip slip stitch there like that And then put your yarn here, back to the back. That okay? And then just uh, insert your tail here to make your edge edge clean like that and hide the tails and after you hide the tail tail make sure to use a lighter tool like in the end to close like that and uh, like for example you have to hide that and just slip stitch or stuck it here somewhere yeah so now let's cut count a stitch here feel the same so let's start with the cannot see it well start here with the corner here here this corner so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to the other corner to the right side let's check it they the same the corner one two three four five six seven eight nine and then so they have the same uh, count so what I have said earlier this is just a sample so I will show you the main project this one so if you have made a long this size long size you can stop like this or if you have if you are using different kind of block you can just do like this and then fold your project into three one two and three like that so it's dark you cannot see and you just have you can all you can uh, stitch the side here if you want if you want just like this this kind of style you can just stitch here like that and then put your lock here if you have if you are using magnetic lock you can just put your like this side here and here like that I didn't close like this one here this this one so this this kind of bug is easy but if you want to make a little bit wider on the side here this is dark you cannot see so I'm using the other one I will use this this side here I made a side here if you want a big uh, wider we can do single crochet here okay I will show you how Because here in my project, I made my sides already, both sides, I single crochet 20, here this will be the the width of the bag, I stitch 20 stitches and uh, 28 rows because It will be like this. This is my um, the space of the bag, the width, like that. And I will just go stitch, put it here, connect, and then that going this side and to the other side. Okay. So if your bag, if you want your bag to be like this width, like this flat inside, so just. Uh, like this right 